This is an interesting turn of events, and it's also a reason why you should never, ever jump the gun when it comes to certain situations. So everybody right now in the world has probably heard the recent developments as it pertains to Jonathan Majors. You know, this is a story I've been kind of following off and on ever since it first kind of burst onto the scene back in March when it was alleged that he had attacked his now ex-girlfriend, who we now know is a grace jabari in new york late at night at some kind of event or some kind of club venue and people were quick to hop on the train to say that oh you know jonathan majors is this that and the third and i said i, I questioned the timing of it because you got to think this man is coming off of the cusp of a major mcu movie and a major role that he's playing not only in that movie but going forward his character kane the conqueror is going to be very pivotal to the storyline then, you know, followed up about two weeks later, he came out with Creed 3 starring alongside Michael B. Jordan, which was also another successful film. And then who would have thought a week later he ended up in his first major scandal? And this is coming off the cusp of this guy literally getting roles back to back to back to back. And speaking of roles, this is why you should not prematurely jump the gun to drop him from anything. Because remember, he was he had all endorsements. He had like army endorsement. He had movies some roles he got dropped from the endorsement with the army that ended up getting dropped I only saw like one time and it was during a preview of a movie didn't see it again because then this situation happened and now fast forward to recently the evidence that everyone claimed that they allegedly didn't have or they've been wanting to try to get out of him they now officially might actually have that could possibly clear him again. He's not out of the woods just yet, but he's in a way better position than he was initially when everybody just started to attack him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this article coming from Entertainment Weekly. It's actually two articles I'm going to read. One of them was posted June 27, 2023. The, the title reads, Jonathan Majors files domestic violence complaint against his accuser in assault case. Marvel star Jonathan Majors filed a domestic violence complaint against his former girlfriend who accused him of assault, alleging she is the one who attacked him during a March 25th dispute in New York, according to an incident report obtained by Insider. The Creed 3 actor, who was arraigned on several assault and harassment charges following the dispute, claimed that his drunk and hysterical accuser had scratched slapped and grabbed his face and caused him to bleed per insider majors also alleged his accuser has attacked him on prior occasions though none were reported including a verbal dispute in london that became physical in the march domestic dispute majors was accused of twisting his accuser's arm striking her head and ear and shoving her into a vehicle now before i go any further that would probably explain why jonathan majors was never seen with her at any events it just seems to me that this woman has a very violent streak about her and she doesn't mind doing what she's doing in public because all the incidents that I'm reading so far that involved him and her all happened in public. None of this was in private, but it almost makes you question how she was acting in private. She was probably worse, but apparently she didn't care. She was out in the open. The woman was treated for injuries at a hospital and granted a full temporary restraining order. The Marvel actor denied causing the injuries in the report and maintained that he was not violent towards his accuser, alleging that she was the one to become violent while accusing him of texting other women. That's why, and now all of a sudden he's dating Megan Good. That's what makes me believe that the woman he was texting was Megan Good because it's crazy when you think of the timeline of it, how he's now all of a sudden seeing with Megan Good. It happened so fast. So that's what makes me believe that Megan Good was the other woman that he was texting. And it seems to me maybe at the time, Jonathan Majors was ready to probably be out of the relationship. He, it seems to me he wanted out. And she wasn't ready to let that go because for her, that might have been a meal ticket. And she got upset. I've said this before. I said this a while ago. I kept saying that I wonder if Jonathan Majors was messing around with Megan Good at the time he and his now ex were still together. But he was, this was his way of trying to get out of the relationship. I, like, again, that's just my assumption. But I believe that's probably what it is because they, they, they hopped into this relationship too, too fast. It's not like, 
you know, this happened months ago and a year later he's with Megan Good like just off of the spur of a thing. Like this happened literally within now like a two to three month time span. It was really fast. So I truly believe Jonathan Majors was messing around with Megan Good while still with this woman, but he was trying to get out of this relationship. And based on this his ex's actions, based on what he's displaying or putting uh, uh, for us in the front forefront, I can see why. This woman just screams violent tendencies. From the beginning, we have said Jonathan Majors is innocent and probably the victim here. Majors attorney Priya Chaudhry said in a statement shared with EW, Last week for the first time, Mr. Majors met with the NYPD to present them with evidence of what really happened on that night. The Manhattan, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office declined to comment on the complaint when reached by EW. While the NYPD confirmed that the investigation is ongoing and did not provide further comment, Ms. Majors is set to head to trial on August 3rd for the misdemeanor assault case stemming from his accuser's allegations. So that's the first article right there as it pertains. So it's giving you an update on what they have so far. Basically, Jonathan Majors is coming out now and saying that they have this evidence that they're presenting that they'll use with the trial going forward and that the trial is going to start on August the 3rd, which uh, from the time of me posting this video will be about a little less than a month away. But what came out after this is even more interesting. And that's this article right here that was posted June 29th, 2023. And I'm actually recording the video on this day. So this is a fresh story right here where it says Jonathan Major's ex-girlfriend may face arrest as domestic violence case takes a new turn. Now, again, this is coming off of the cusp of the evidence that Jonathan Majors and his attorney has given to the DA, you know, in this recent proceedings before this trial is set to come. But they said they have enough there to possibly arrest this woman, which means she was lying in her story. That's why I said you got to wait for all the facts to come out. But I'm going to read this article and see what they're talking about. The NYPD may arrest Jonathan Major's accuser, according to multiple reports. It's a surprising turn of events involving the Marvel star whose promising career has been sidelined amid domestic violence allegations. And I hate that. I hate that that's happening. Where they said his career might be sidelined because of allegations. Not something that he actually did, but off of pure allegations. Majors was arrested in March on assault and harassment charges as his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari, claimed she was attacked. The 33-year-old actor's lawyer has maintained he was the victim, and it appears some within the police department agree. The news comes as Anthony Mackie offered Majors public words of encouragement. Majors filed a cross-complaint accusing Jabari of slapping and scratching him when she was drunk and hysterical, according to Insider. In a new report on Thursday, the New York Times cited three sources who said the NYPD believes there is enough evidence to support Jabari's arrest. Yahoo Entertainment can confirm the NYPD found probable cause to arrest Jabari after Majors met with the NYPD last week. A rep for the NYPD only tells Yahoo Entertainment that an investigation is ongoing related to the incident and there are no arrests at, at this time. Last week, Majors appeared in court with girlfriend actress Megan Good. By his side, where a trial date was set for August 3rd. The Manhattan DA's office is moving forward with his case against the actor. Our investigation and case into the assault charges against Mr. Majors remains ongoing, spokesperson Doug Cohen tells Yahoo. And I think the reason why they're doing this is because of this new evidence. Even though if it was strong enough, you would think they would drop the charges, but for pomp and circumstance and because of the optics, let's be real here. This is a black man right here. And the person who was accusing him of doing this stuff to her to her is a white woman. So they're going to drag this out, even if there's a good, strong chance that she's going to lose her case. Like I said, it's all pomp, pomp and circuses. And then Jonathan Majors is a big star. So it looks good for, you know, the media. I think that's really all is playing itself out to be. I think they have a strong chance to know that they really don't have a case there. But if it makes the papers, if it makes the Internet, social media and the news, why not? That's the same thing as a YouTuber saying content is content. Major's defense team is pressuring the DA's office to bring charges against Jabari. Mr. Majors has been asking for justice as the victim here, and he deserves to have his assailant arrested and brought to court to face the charges against her. Priya Chaudhry explains to Yahoo in a statement. 
on Thursday. All along, the DA has been insistent that it won't give Mr. Major special treatment because he is high profile. Now that the NYPD, who has actually investigated Mr. Jabari, is ready to arrest her, I certainly hope the DA will not delay prosecution of Mr. Jabari due to the high profile nature of this case. That would be hysterical, unfair, and unjust. We are grateful to the detectives of the NYPD and look forward to justice for Mr. Majors. Jabari's attorney, Brad Edwards, tells the Times that there is no reason to arrest his client and he's seen nothing reliable indicating that any agency has developed a different opinion. In fact, we understand the criminal case against Mr. Majors is proceeding as expected. Edwards continued, out of respect for the criminal, just, for the criminal process, and the prosecuting attorneys who will make decisions based on the evidence, we do not intend to respond to rumors. Jabari and Majors were in a relationship for several years. According to the Times, she worked as a movement coach alongside the actor on Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which was released in February. Three months ago, the former apparently, apparently couple got into an argument on the drive back to the actor's residence in NYC. Jabari claimed Majors broke her finger and lacerated her ear, but the actor's attorney said they provided the court with irrefutable irrefut evidence that this was a lie. Majors claims the driver of the vehicle will testify that it was the actor who was attacked. Jabari went clubbing after the supposed first altercation. Hours later, she arrived back at Majors' residence, but he was not home. When he arrived, he purportedly found her unconscious and half naked in his walk-in closet. His defense team believed she sustained injuries when she passed out. Majors has lost multiple projects due to the allegations, but Marvel has not officially cut ties. The actor who made his debut as the supervillain Kane the Conqueror earlier this year is integral to the MCU. He's set to reprise the role in multiple projects leading up to 2025's Avengers, the Kane Dynasty, which I believe they actually changed the release date for that. Fellow uh, Marvel actor Anthony Mackie was recently asked about the situation with Majors. We are a country that was built on everyone is innocent until proven guilty, he told Inverse. For a profile published on Wednesday, that's one of the staples of this country. Nothing has been proven about this dude. Nothing. So everyone is innocent until proven guilty. That's all I can say. It's crazy we are as a, so as a society, but as a country, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Well, shout out to Anthony Mackey for uh, delivering that statement. I thought that was interesting that they went to another black actor attached to the MCU to ask him this question. But, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, so this is the most recent information so far as it pertains to Jonathan Majors. It probably won't be any more updates between now and possibly when the trial begins, unless they actually put out something that they have arrested his ex that's the only other bit of news i could think of them putting out there ahead of the trial starting and then after that then everything's going to be focused mainly on the trial but i'm going to be keeping my eye as of course on on this as closely as i possibly can and we shall see what's going to go forward but again i'm glad that the mcu did not drop him because <clears throat> remember they don't want a situation like what happened with johnny depp because remember, Johnny Depp was a, a huge cash cow for them with them Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And when they dropped him, they uh, they lost a big a big bag right there. And you got to think the Pirates movies has become a billion dollar entity. The MCU has been a multi billion dollar entity and they're both owned by Disney, which is a multi billion dollar entity slash conglomerate in and of itself. I don't think they wanted to fumble the bag twice in almost the same kind of uh, revelation considering what happened with Johnny Depp and Amber Turd Heard. So they're being very careful and strategic with this because they know that'll piss a lot of people off, especially if it can come out that this guy is completely innocent of what he's being accused of. Well, what do you know? Now, they can't tell. Listen, I know and we should all know by now a weird. And I don't know who Jonathan Majors pissed off in Hollywood, but they are coming at him with daggers. And I find it ironic this new so-called revelation is popping up. So this is coming from Rolling Stone. And unfortunately, I can't read the article because they say you got to subscribe to read it. I ain't subscribing to Rolling Stone to read nothing. But we can just basically gauge what we need to off of this. It says exclusive. Jonathan Majors' extreme abuse allegedly goes back nearly a decade. Majors was abusive with his partners, aggressive on sets, and a source of toxicity at Yale. Two dozen sources tell rolling stone so that's what 24 people major majors vehemently denies all 
accusations and this article was posted on june 29th at 10 7 p.m which was the same day that i recorded the first part of this video but this came much later which is why i'm just now being made aware of it <sighs> my thing is this why wait until he's already established to say something if you really wanted to get him for these so-called allegations you would have got him before he even had a chance to say his first line in lovecraft country which was the first major project he's ever done like you would have gone at him then and that was back in what 2018 i think when that show came out why didn't you say anything then i cannot take any of this seriously like really and i find it even more ironic that this is now coming out after there's news that his ex-girlfriend most likely will probably get arrested for the role she played in it and how he and his attorney had brought up some evidence that could very much help him now this comes out because now they have to say that there's a history there to try to back up the claim of the ex and say that he's this and that he's that and i'm not surprised by this either because if y'all remember early on in this situation there were some people online claiming that they went to school with him and saying he was abusive and all types of things like that some people that went to school to yell with him it we know what this is we know exactly what this is this is like that that uh, black person in hollywood ritual where, uh where they it's almost like that shaming ritual think of cersei on game of thrones when she had to walk through the town while having people spit and throw food at her while a woman behind her or in front of her i forgot she was behind her in front of her ringing the bell and saying shame as she was literally walking through the town square that's literally what they are doing to Jonathan Majors right now. It's like a Hollywood tarring and feathering of this man. I said the timing of this coming out right here after it's alleged that his ex-girlfriend might get arrested and this new evidence that's being presented for by himself and his attorney. So y'all telling me y'all had all of this and never said anything. Y'all, I can't take it seriously. All I'm going to say is this. If you are a black person and you were trying to break it into Hollywood, you better have all your affairs in order. You better make sure that whoever is in your orbit, whoever is in your circle is as tight as a dot. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I said tight as a dot. I meant small as a dot. Because these people are some vultures out here. It's like as soon as you would think Jonathan Majors is about to be in the clear in comes this stuff right here and again this is all alleged i don't believe this for a second but the fact that this is just popping up we we like i said we know a witch hunt when we see it if no one has learned from what they did and still currently doing to bill cosby and now more recently with michael jackson and i have a video coming up soon about that then i don't know what to tell you